this series was originally conceptualized, two months ago in my mind's eye, as at least in part being about how Americans dealt with crises. And one of the biggest crises in American history was the Great Depression. My first selection will be an account of the Great Dust Storm, as chronicled in Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath, one of America's great tomes. My second selection will be a president's response to this crisis. To the red country and part of the gray country of Oklahoma, the last rains came gently, and they did not cut this scarred earth. A gentle wind followed the rain clouds, driving them on northward, a wind that softly clasped the drying corn. A day went by and the wind increased, steady, unbroken by gusts. The dust from the roads fluffed up and spread out, and fell on the weeds beside the fields, and fell into the fields a little way. Now the wind grew strong and hard, and it worked at the rain crusts in the cornfields. Little by little the sky was darkened by the mixing dust, and the wind felt over the earth, loosened the dust, and carried it away. The wind grew stronger. The rain crust broke, and the dust lifted up out of the fields, and drove gray plumes into the air, like sluggish smoke. The corn threshed the wind, and made a dry, rushing sound. The finest dust did not settle back to earth now, but disappeared into the darkening sky. The wind grew stronger, whisked under stones, carried up straws and old leaves and even little claws, barking its course as it sailed across the fields. The air and the sky darkened, and through them the sun shone redly, and there was a raw sting in the air. During a night, the wind raced faster over the land dug cunningly among the rootlets of the corn, and the corn fought the wind with its weakened leaves until the roots were freed by the prying wind, and then each stalk settled wearily sideways toward the earth and pointed in the direction of the wind. The dawn came, but no day. In the gray sky a red sun appeared, a dim red circle that gave a little light, like dusk, and as that day advanced the dusk slipped back toward darkness, and the wind cried and whimpered over the fallen corn. Men and women huddled in their houses, and they tied handkerchiefs over their noses when they went out, and wore goggles to protect their eyes. When the night came again, it was black night, for the stars could not pierce the dusk to get down, and the window lights could not even spread beyond their own yards. Now the dust was evenly mixed with the air, an emotion of dust and air. Houses were shut tight, and cloth wedged around doors and windows. But the dust came in so thinly that it could not be seen in the air, and it settled like pollen on the chairs and tables, and on the dishes. The people brushed it from their shoulders. Little lines of dust lay at the doorstep.